In this video, let's see another numerical problem which is based on the concept of properties of determinants. We have already seen what is a determinant, what are its various properties and how to solve some numerical problems on the same. This video is dedicated to another numerical problem on the same subtopic of the chapter of determinants. Let's see what the question has to say and let's get started with the solution. The question says that solve for x and this determinant is given to me as equal to 0. And observe this question carefully, it's all in a's and x. Here it is a plus x and the other diagonal element is also a plus x and the third diagonal element is also a plus x. Rest is all a minus x. Now if you observe it again carefully, if you add all these columns, you get a common element which can be taken out as common from the determinant. That means a plus x plus a minus x plus a minus x. Let's see what it gives to us. I write the heading as solution and I apply the operation as C1 such that C1 plus C2 plus C3. Now what happens is in column 1 I need the addition of all these. So A plus X plus A minus X plus A minus X plus X and minus X gets cancelled. So it is 3A minus X. Rest is same, rest columns don't change the value, so it is a minus x, a minus x. Next, again what happens is a minus x plus a plus x plus a minus x plus x minus x cancels, so it is 3a minus x. Same goes with the first column, third row, right? a plus x, copy as it is, a minus x here, a minus x here, a plus x here. And it is already given to me it is equal to 0. So let's make it equal to 0. Now 3a minus x can be taken out as common. So 3a minus x can be taken out as common. What is left? We are left with 1, 1, 1. And a minus x, a plus x, a minus x. Next here is a minus x, a minus x, a plus x. Equal to 0 does not change. You see here these are three ones. Evaluation of a determinant becomes easier when we have maximum number of zeros. For that, let's subtract row 2 and row 1. That means I want the operation row 2 minus row 1. Similarly, let's subtract row 3 minus row 1. So it is row 2, R2 minus R1. And in row 3, again, we are going to apply that same operation, R3, such that it is R3 minus R1. What is left? Let's see. 3a minus x as it is and we have 1a minus x, a minus x, same copied because no change is in R1. We are expecting change in R2 and R3, 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0, a plus x minus a minus x. I solve it here, a plus x minus a minus x, a's and a's gets cancelled, x and x gives me 2x. Similarly, apply a minus x minus a minus x. So, a minus x minus a plus x. a's and a's gets cancelled. Minus x and plus x, even those get cancelled. So, it is all zeros here. Again, it is row 3 minus row 1. So, it is a minus x minus a plus x. a and a's get cancelled. x and minus x gives me 0. Last but not the least, we have a plus x minus a minus x. So it is a plus x minus a and that minus becomes plus. So it is plus x. a's and a's gets cancelled. x and x gives me 2x. Now you see evaluation will be very easy now. Reason being we have maximum number of zeros in row 3. So this is equal to 0. This is a bifurcation line that I have made. Evaluating along the row 3. Why? Because we have maximum number of zeros here. I have 3a minus x and in the third row what I do is I see 0, 0 multiplied by anything is 0, I ignore it. I again see 0, 0 multiplied by anything, again 0, ignore it. I see 2x. 2x is what? It is the third row, third column. 3 plus 3, 6 even, so it is plus. So I write here 2x and then I see what is the sub-determinant in consideration to this. Ignore this third column, ignore the third row, you have this sub-determinant, I am not writing it again, it is 1a minus x, 0, 2x. 
cross multiply to evaluate this happens now 0 into something again not into consideration 1 into 2x is 2x only so I write here 2x equal to 0 so now see what happens we have 3a minus x we have 2 2s are 4 so 4 outside we have x x is a x square equal to 0 this is the story what is the question again see the question was solved for x that means you need value of x basically and since it is a quadratic equation you will be getting two values of x right now 4 goes to the other side 4 goes in the division so 4 is actually left out and we have 3a minus x into x square is equal to 0 upon 4 that is 0 so what is the value of x one value of x is equating from here the other value of x is equating from here that's it so the x value 1 is equal to 0 and the other value is what when you put 3a minus x equal to 0 so that x is equal to 3a so these are the two values that you get do not write only one answer it has two answers because it is a quadratic equation that means degree 2 so answers 2 first answer is 0 second answer is 3a